Hey, what's up? It's you Knows Best here. This video, I'm going to show you how to take control of the applications on your Mac. So I'm going to show you three quick um, tips and applications that are very useful that I use every single day. I think you might find something useful here. So I'm going to jump right into it. The first thing I'm going to show you is called an application called AppFresh. This is a one-stop shop for all the software updates for all your applications, not just your Apple software, but also your third-party applications as well. And so you can see here how this application can be very useful you see here these are all the updates available for my applications these are all the applications that need to be updated with the software which I've been slacking even ScreenFlow has an update and I haven't used yet and I'm using it right now to record this video um, but anyway you know you see here this is very useful because I personally don't allow my application to check for updates at startup because it may slow down it from slow it down for starting up and also it may start using system resources that I don't want it to so I uh, trust myself to go in and manually update it which as you can see here I don't do so this one kind of saves my butt on that um, so you can break it down you can see all the applications that are already up to date also you can see the unknown applications these are the one that's just not in the app fresh library yet and also you can break it down as far as just applications just pl plugins uh, just widgets uh, even breaks it down between uh, different vendors like Apple applications and Microsoft applications so at fresh I really like this application I'm going to be using it a lot and it makes it a little bit easier to get all your software up to date which is very important um, the third one or the second one I'm going to go ahead and show you is called Todos it's T-O-D-O-S so I'm a Todos to do so I don't know exactly how to say it but I'm gonna call it Todos for the sake of this video but this one allows you when you press command option control T it brings up kind of like the stacks but the difference with this application it shows all of your applications not just the applications in your applications folder so you know and um, you open up stacks so everybody drags their applications folder to the dock but when you open it up in stacks it looks good it's very useful but it's just the applications in that applications folder so unless you um, if you don't remember to put all your applications in the applications folder you're not going to be seeing some things that you probably were looking for but this totos actually works very well with this you can see all the applications you can simply um, just scroll your mouse over them and it'll let you know exactly what application that is if you don't recognize the icon but I really like it so say I want to go ahead and open up Safari I can go ahead and open up Safari right here and boom there it is I'm ready to use it and that little um, menu there just disappears now since I have Safari up the um, third application I'm going to show you is called present your apps now presenting your apps allows you to take advantage of your full screen real estate because that is very important because everybody has a lot of things going on the screen but this one allows you to take advantage of your taskbar and also your dock it allows you to actually just get rid of those totally while you're in a certain application so it's not for every application you can actually manage it and choose it just for one single application if you wanted to so say I got Safari open right now and that's my video right there um, but say I got Safari open right now and I'm um, going to block it for copyright and um, so I got Safari right now open and I'm going to go ahead and say that hey every time I have Safari open I want to remove the menu bar and dock okay I called it the task bar earlier but I want to remove the menu bar and dock go ahead and click on that it'll ask you for your password just once here and then I'll actually restart Safari okay but now you see at the top here I have all this the space right up here and down below so normally this the, I already shot this video once that I really do it so normally your Safari window is probably just this big but now you can scroll what all the way up at the top and then also you can bring it all the way down to the bottom and really take advantage of the full screen real estate and this is good for movie editing applications or audio editing applications where you really want to try to take advantage of the whole screen so you can see everything on the on the screen at once so I really like this application to get out of it just click on either the dock or the menu bar here and it will pop back up and then you can choose if you don't want that to happen anymore uh, you can choose to take that off and it, you, any, and it only shows you the applications that you have open so you can open up whatever application you want and then choose those options for it accordingly so I really I mean I really like those applications so these three things I think will give you a little bit more control over your application so if you had know any other app, uh, other type of application that may do similar things leave a comment on this video or make a video response so we can go ahead and check those out but I'd like thank you all for watching this video and I'll catch you later peace